There's good guys and there's bad guys in this world. And make no mistake about it, ladies and gentlemen, I am a bad, bad man. It feels like a while since I've last shown you my face on camera, but I don't want you to get used to not seeing me, so here we are right here today. Before I get in today, I want to talk about a couple of things I've been doing. I've been having issues, fun, whatever you want to talk about. The Zonar sound card has been returned. It was a nightmarish, dreadful experience. I don't even know where to begin about that. You plug it in, it doesn't work. You plug it in correctly, it asks you to plug it into your power supply. The drivers don't read, the drivers install, the drivers don't install. You plug it in, the audio is distorted, the audio is not loud, the audio is whisper quiet. It was a completely awful experience. Anybody asking about that Zonar sound card, I do not recommend it whatsoever. Elsewhere, we have what I've been gaming on lately, the 3DS XL, Beat the Zelda game, awesome game. A little too similar to A Link to the Past, but it is what it is. It's Nintendo people. They're not exactly pushing the envelope with providing new things and new experiences lately. They like to retread and add and do all those kind of things, which is good, but also if you're looking for something new, bad. Currently, I am playing Fire Emblem Awakening on Lunatic, and Lunatic might as well be called Frustration Emblem. Real friends don't let friends play Fire Emblem on Lunatic. Just how it is. And if anybody's wondering what that leather case I was using on the 3DS, there it is right here. It's literally on Amazon.com and it is called the leather case. But today's video, the video I've been tweeting about, the video I've been mentioning for the past couple days, maybe up to a week, the 2014 Corporate Slave of the Year Award. Now I'm gonna make my Game of the Year Award video. I'm gonna make my Game of the Generation video because you know the generation is coming to a close all new systems are out this is the final year I'm not doing a social reject of the year because that could pretty much be anybody but when we talk about the corporate slaves the people who go out of their way to damage control so what I want is your thoughts your opinions your comments your video responses your votes because after all in the city of hate it is a democracy a democracy ruled by a dictatorship in me, but nonetheless, a democracy. So my top eight, because I like to keep it simple, like Robot Master, Maverick, regular style, eight, no more than eight. This is my list, but you can vote on my list, you can add to your own, you can add to my list, you can suggest, you can change it, do whatever you want. Feedback is appreciated. But my top eight, in no particular order, because I will make the order sooner rather than later before the new year. First up, the man who's straight trying to skyrocket to the power rank is to the top of this list. He must have heard I was making this video because, wow, those last couple videos he's made over the past couple days bragging about a week's worth of sales when the PlayStation 4, in a matter of under a month, pretty much took up half the Wii U's install base. We're talking about none other than himself, the doctor of damage control. The definitive version of all your favorite damage control, Dr. Trey. Next up, not only does he have a YouTube channel dedicated to being a corporate slave, not only does he have a website dedicated to damage controlling, this dude really couldn't take any more corporate cop from Nintendo than anybody else on the planet. He might as well be a porn star for Nintendo. A bad one at that, but one nonetheless. We're talking about Furious Fanboy. Nobody so rigorously and definitively defends this corporation more than this man. Not only does he have a YouTube channel dedicated to damage control, he has a website, people. Pathetic. Third on my list, Next Gen 720p. Self-explanatory, people. This man will go out of his way to find information where information is even found. Digging up sources up there in the Himalayas next to Dr. Trey's rumors. I don't know where he gets his information. I don't know where these facts come from. Some of the things he talks about, they just make my head literally spin. We went from a $12,000 computer to a sub-HD $500 console. And nonetheless, he is pretty much the Dr. Trey for the Microsoft brand. It is what it is. 
Nintendo, the king of logic, as he likes to call himself. Well, somebody needs to tell him that logic is not a fact. If your logic is straight illogical, then what good is it? This man just made a video saying droughts aren't bad because he has a life. Like, nobody else has a life. Like, nobody else does anything. It's okay for Nintendo to have droughts because he can do something else. And for people like me, who have PCs, other consoles, and handhelds, droughts are okay because we can play something else. Well, um, that's the problem. Because Nintendo has droughts, everybody else does, in fact, play something else. And then you complain why the Nintendo systems don't get support. Go figure. And newsflash, dude. Your videos, five minutes, eight minutes, good. 10 minutes and beyond, mm, but when I see you dropping 20 and 30 and 35 minutes like you're the seventh level, 35 minutes of damage control? <sighs> but I'll give you this, man. Nobody thinks of more elaborate, illogical conspiracy theories than you do when the situation literally is black and white, silver, copper, and green. Next up, Darren Young, a.k.a. KFD3D. What else is there to say about this guy? In my opinion, and it might not even be an opinion, the dude clearly suffers from a mental illness. Nobody is this animated and rigorous and just flat out ignorant when it comes to defending another corporation. This man literally was making videos saying in the year 2013, we are not capable of making a netcode for a four-player platformer. 1999 and Quake called with 60 frames per second, massively shooting people at arena speeds and platforming. Planet Side 2, you know, 2,000 players online, things like that. Battlefield 4, 64 players. Battlefield 3, 64 players. Jets, tanks, people, maps all over the place. But you know, a four-player turtle bopping simulator can't do it online. Can't do it. Mizza T. Mizza T. Anybody who has a Facebook group dedicated to damage controlling for a corporation, a Facebook group dedicated to being a corporate slave, while at the same time being so dedicated to the cause that you use a puppet and a toy to get your point across, well, you are a corporate slave. Now this list could have easily been called the 2014 Drone of the Year list, but since this guy doesn't have an original bone in his body, and essentially hijacked and style-jacked my word drone, we're moving on. He can have it. We're now further establishing Corporate Slave. I know Hard 8 likes to use it too, but you know, I set the trend, people. I coined the terms. Until Hot Master Flex wants to, you know, run him into the ground, then I gotta switch something else. But this man, grown-ass man, who says first experience in gaming was Donkey Kong in the arcade, which would net him around at least his mid-30s. Has a Facebook group for damage controlling and acts like a corporate slave through a Mr. T doll. Not only that, but he's in two hour long corporate slave damage control podcast in character with that voice. Damn. Next up on my list, JTEC TV Pyro 2000X. Now, I haven't watched this guy in months, probably even half a year, but just because he is Pyro 2000X, he gets an automatic spot on the Corporate Slave of the Year Award. This man is a first ballot Hall of Famer in the Corporate Slave Hall of Fame. Nothing else needs to be said. Even without me watching his channel in half a year, I'm guaranteeing if I went to his channel right now, he'd win. And last but not least, the Emperor of the, 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 the Black Baron. The man who will go on TV, National TV Live, to promote a game he hasn't even beaten. The man who did not know the main character's name of Xenoblade, who game flied the game, who didn't even finished the game, which is my game of the generation. This dude wants to talk about how he's this huge Nintendo fan, still hasn't beaten A Link Between Worlds, still hasn't even beaten Skyward Sword, 
Still has him beaten Xenoblade. His excuse? Oh, his Wii broke. You heard me, people. His Wii broke. I mean, granted that the Wii U is backwards compatible, he could have replayed the games. I mean, it's not like he beat them and he's going to replay them. No, 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 no. He's never finished them. So he still has incentive to go back and play and finish them. But his excuse? His Wii broke. All that bragging he does about backwards compatibility, but won't go back and finish the games he hasn't played. But even funnier is this. He'll replace an Xbox 360 multiple times, but he won't replace a Wii to finish Zelda, the pinnacle of gaming franchises. You know, I often think that Zaire and the Black Baron are brothers from another mother, because at this point, the sad truth is, Zaire plays and finishes more games than the Black Baron. This man will sit up t on Twitter till 2, 3 a.m. in the morning, damage controlling, being a corporate slave for Nintendo. I responded to Nintendo on Twitter and within three seconds, Black Baron to the rescue on Twitter defending Nintendo of America. If that's not a corporate slave, I don't know what is. So, cast your ballots, cast your votes. If you have different suggestions, please add them to the list, people. I want to know. Like I said, it's a democracy ruled by the dictator, me. You asked how we call it, or why do we call it entertainment? How is it entertainment? I'll tell you how it's entertainment. Watching you dance like a puppet on our strings, hinging on every comment we type to you, everything we say, you dance like a puppet for us. That is our entertainment. It might not be entertainment for you, but it is our entertainment watching you dance on our strings. <laughs> Dang, big man.